Hey Brahmas, in this video, I'm going to show you how to search one search for literary criticism sources. Starting in the guide, literary criticism, you can see that we have specialized databases for literary research, but we also have this tool called OneSearch, which you can get to in the home tab which is more of a search engine, not a database that looks across most of our databases at the same time. So it throws the widest net possible across all of our databases, which can be very useful, but sometimes a bit overwhelming because you can produce a lot of results. Now for your assignment, you want to make sure that you enter the last name of the author, the title of your text of literature, and a keyword or two about the concepts that you're trying to explore. For example, if I'm doing research on the play by Ibsen, I want to make sure I have Ibsen, just the last name of the author. And then A Doll's House is the title of the play. So I'm going to put that in quotation marks because that is a technique that tells the database to search for that exact string of characters. So you wanna make sure that you have the title correctly spelled. And the database will therefore look for that exact phrase, which will pull up anything with that exact text. And then additionally, you can enter another keyword that's related to your topic, such as Victorian. In the case that we were trying to learn about Victorian society or Victorian culture in relation to Ibsen's play. So with those three keywords, you will produce quite a bit of results. And we're going to click search. Once again, OneSearch is looking across all of our databases. And even though it only pulled up 400 and something results, that is still quite a bit. And we know that most of these results are going to be about Ibsen's A Dollhouse. Now, right off the bat, we could start looking at the titles that we encounter, but we want to make sure that you are looking at the right type of sources. So notice how this first one just says available online, but the second result has this purple icon that says peer reviewed. So these articles, are guaranteed to be published in peer-reviewed journals, which means scholarly or academic journals. And more than likely, your professor is requiring you to use two or X number of sources that are peer-reviewed. So if you wanna make sure that you're meeting that criteria, you want to go to the left side, the Refine Your Results tools, and then you want to click on the scholarly journals square and also articles because you want to make sure that you're just getting journal articles and not review articles or magazine articles and also you want to click on online because you want to make sure that all of the journals i mean articles that you pull up are available digitally through the library so after clicking those three filters, I'm going to apply on the lower left-hand corner, the green button. And now I can see that my three filters were applied. And now I'm guaranteed more confidently that all of these results are coming from peer-reviewed journals. And therefore I can use them in my research as your professor has required. So we can now start looking at the titles of these articles. And once again, you are trying to find out the articles that you are going to read and use in your paper. So you wanna make sure that you do skim them a bit because you wanna make sure that they actually talk about your research question or your thesis or the concepts that you're trying to explore in your paper. So for example, I'm gonna scroll down a little bit, pandemic performance, the outbreak of modernism, uh, fiction and the new woman, seeing ghosts. Mm. 
So at some point, you want to click on the second page of results because you're just seeing the order of sources according to the algorithm of OneSearch, which is different than the algorithm of other databases. So let's say you were interested in um, black women's bodies, or for some reason, this article caught your interest. You click on the title, you're opening up the record of the article, not the article itself. The full text of the article is actually being hosted in one of our databases, but OneSearch is going to direct you to whatever database is hosting that article. In this case, when we see full online, this article is only available in our database one um, JSTOR. Sometimes you'll see multiple databases here, and any of those databases should take you to that same article. But in this case, it's only JSTOR that contains this article by Richard Knowles. So we're going to click on JSTOR, and OneSearch is going to try to open it up. As a peer student, you need to enter your student ID number as your username, and your passcode is your month and date of birth, your birthday without the year, four digits. So once you get here, we can see that this is the article. We know that it should be coming from a peer-reviewed journal. And we can start to skim it since it's a digitized um, PDF from the journal Southern Review, South Central Review. And the hard work lies in you reading or skimming through the article to find the concepts that this author has written about to see if that can help you make the connections that you're trying to make in your own paper. Now, most of our databases have a function by which you can email yourself that source. In this case, JSTOR does have a share button for emailing, but I personally like to just download the PDF since it's already here, and then you can go to cite this item. And most of our databases have a cite button that will give you a working citation that you can use as a placeholder before you triple check all your sources and their citations to make sure that they're 100% correct. So in this case, I could copy the MLA style citation. I can open up my own email, paste it, and then download the PDF of this article if I really want to read it later and use it. And then I can email it to myself. With JSTOR, when you click on the email button, it just it tries to pull up the native emailing app in your computer, and it doesn't work that well sometimes for me. So this is one example of how to find peer-reviewed articles that are specifically on your topic. Um, and you can always go back up here and try different keywords or add more keywords that you might encounter as you're browsing through these uh, results. We can also undo our filters, especially if you wanna take a look at eBooks. And I do recommend that you look at eBooks because all of our books are academic in nature. They're not peer reviewed in the traditional sense, but they are credible authoritative sources written by scholars that can totally help you with your research. So you do not have to rely on just peer reviewed articles. So to look at eBooks, um, I'm going to go to the refine tools on the left hand side and I'm going to click on online, and then I'm going to click on books and book chapters. And when I apply those filters, keeping the same keywords that I had entered, Ibsen, A Doll's House, Victorian, now I'm getting 33 results, which sound like a little bit, but if you start looking at these book chapters, Ibsen criticism, Ibsen and feminism, they're probably very specific in terms of the actual author or the work that you're trying to study. So these can be very helpful, especially if you 
are doing research on a short story or a poem or a play or a novel that is not super um, canonical or popular in American literature. So as you can see, let's say that you were interested in the chapter of Ibsen and feminism. So we're going to click on that. Once again, OneSearch is merely showing you the record of this ebook. And thankfully, it does say available online. And if we sc scroll a bit down under view online, you see that the text is available through this database called Cambridge Companions. So we're going to click on that. And OneSearch is opening up the database that's hosting that ebook. And now since my browser remembered my username and passcode, it automatically logged me in. And now I can see the interface of this database. And I can see that it's a chapter with an ebook. And this chapter has a summary right here. And if I really want to download it and start reading the whole thing, I can easily click on the download PDF button. So that is how this database of ebooks works. We have at least three good ebook databases. So they may differ how you open up an ebook that you might find through OneSearch. But the point is that you don't want to be afraid of using ebooks because they're really useful, especially since the library is physically closed this summer of 2021.